Hello and welcome to Farm. This is a mixture of ballet, Pilates and other fitness elements and it's going to work best for you today if you're in socks or bare feet. So you can really work through the feet into the floor. And today for extra props we will be using one small hand weight so it does not have to be um, a hand weight it could just be something with a little bit of weight it's nice and easy to hold onto and we will be using if you have one a stretchy band so I've got one of these ones that's just a long uh, length <laughs> or you could be using one that is a loop because it's going to go around our legs for a couple of exercises to add some resistance so those two things if you've got them pop them to one side and then we're going to be starting with a warm-up to get ourselves moving so moving away from your bar or moving your bar away from you and just having a little bit of space around you enough to move comfortably and we will get going here we go so placing the feet underneath the sit bones, thinking about drawing up through the spine, raising up through the arms, up towards the sky. Take a breath in, let it melt down into a little plie, just a little curve in the top of the back. Take that again, so drawing up the legs, drawing up the sides of the body, reaching up. Inhale, exhale, let it melt. One more time, what's happening as well, the shoulders lifting, elevating and depressing. Releasing, rebuilding back to somewhere in the middle, nice and tall and wide. We're going to take a little pad through each heel. So we're going to lift one heel and then the other. Just gently working into the feet, stretching out the underside of the foot, trying to minimize any swaying side to side. Just think lifting up through the chest, up through the head. Start to deepen that breathing as so we peel the whole foot away from the floor. And we're thinking about that muscle around the waist, that band muscle, the TVA, wrapping in towards the centre. You know, keep the feet going. We're going to reach the arms up one more time. This time we're going to circle the wrists on the way down, circle the wrists around. As it comes down, let's pick up the pace of the feet a little bit. Let's take the arms up one more time. Circling the wrists the other way as they come back down again. So just taking little circles through the hands, trying to get a bit of a stretch through the fingers, keep the feet padding, bringing the arms back in. We're going to take the feet slightly wider. We're going to go shoulder roll back. So a little spongy knee as you come over to the side. Shoulder roll forward, up and over. We take a little bit of a lean into it as well. Don't be afraid to get the body moving. It's going to become an elbow, elbow up and over. Scooping back, a little bit of rotation here as well, through the torso, up and over with that elbow, scooping in towards yourself, spongy through the knees, through the underside of the foot. If you've got space, full arm. If it needs to be a little arc, that's fine too. Just getting a little bit of stretch into and around the shoulder socket, up and over, swimming forwards. Keep that lean going, we're going to turn that into a rotation. So we're going to swipe across, swipe across. Just letting the arms move freely. Think torso, trying to turn, pelvis staying fairly square, but not too rigid at this point. And just warming up. We're going to bring that in underneath us. Just a little side to side. Smoothly going. We're going to take a reach for the ceiling. We're going to take one more roll down, so press the air away, drop the gaze, bend the knees as you go, rolling through the spine, waking up those back extensors into a nice stretch. A little wiggle around here, and we're going to unroll through the body, raising back up again, we're going to be coming to our bar. So moving yourself to your bar, or moving your bar to you. We're going to be taking that into a plie exercise. For today's plie exercise, we're going to use a couple of different positions through the feet. One is going to be our normal first position that we use. One is going to be our normal second position that we use. And then today we're also going to be using our third or fifth positions. So either crossing the feet to the midline of the other foot or to the big toe joint. Don't really go any further than that. You just work into your own natural turn out there. So just be aware of those positions as we come along. We're going to start, actually, let's start in our second position. Lengthening up through the thighs. We're going to take it straight into our plies. This one you can just follow along with. We're going to drop the body down. 
and push the feet into the floor to lengthen. So resting two hands on the bar, wide through the collarbones, lifted through the top of the head, nice and slow to start. Thinking about those inside thighs reaching towards each other as we come back up. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. So just a nice smooth down, smooth up. Knee tracking out over the centre of the foot, keeping that rotation muscles around the pelvis, the glutes, helping to rotate the legs. Pressure down through the feet and into the floor. We're going to add a little bounce. We're going to go down, 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 stretch. It's down, 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 stretch. Nice and easy, spongy knees in that bounce. It just stays down. And then the reach up comes at the end, lifting through the top of the head. We're going to add a close of the feet to that third. So we're going to down, bounce, and close the third. Down, bounce, and close the third. It might be to a fifth to the big toe joint. Down, bounce, and change. So we're thinking real inside thighs to draw the legs together. And that leg can just swipe across the floor at this time. Just pulling a flat foot in. Let's do one more to each side. Down, bounce, and pull. Now if that's okay, if you feel ready for it, we're going to take that onto a rise. Woo, she says. Hug right there for me. Down, bounce, and rise. And if you feel like you're struggling to meet your bar, just take yourself a little closer. We won't be doing anything with the legs that moves forward. So you can just move that in. We're going to add one more. We're going to go down, bounce, and rise. Unfold the leg, down and up. Down, bounce, and rise. Unfold the leg. Down. You can do that from a flat foot as well. Unfold the leg, down and up. Down and bounce, across. Unfold. But if it's comfy, down and bounce, up. On our rise. So, one, two, close. Unfold, drop it down. So you can test the balance on that moment there. Try and keep that up. Whoa, I'm adding extra bounces for no reason. Down and up. Everyone just loves that little extra pulse. Really feel that thigh burn. We're going to have one more to either side. Last one, either way. Staying open, lifted, drop and rise down away. We're just going to take it back to down. Be smooth action. Deepen the breathing. Slowing the pulse down again. Let's go for two more of those. After these last two, we're going to take a little rotation through the leg. So it's going down, rotate in, come back and up. So I'm just swinging on the ball of the foot. Just adding some inward rotation to that leg. Rotate in, come back, return. With a little movement through the pelvis, but not too much. Not really turning towards the leg too much. It's more about that non-supporting leg getting a chance to even out. In one more to either side. Last one. Come back. Keep TVA wrapping in and around the waist. Return. Press the legs and release. We're going to be coming into. A tondu exercise. So this one's going to be making use of that first position again. We're going to be taking the tondu, move slightly back to the tondu to the front. We're going to rotate inwards, we're going to rotate outwards, we're going to draw it back in again. The same thing happens to the side, the same thing happens to the back. We're going to do it to the side one more time. Then we do the same thing again on the other leg. Then we do the same thing again on the first leg, but we take the leg just off the floor. So I'm taking it just a little bit off the floor, rotate and in. Just a little bit off. All the way around on the first side, all the way around on the second side. Third time, optional, to take it with a little lines on two feet. And then just stay off the floor, come back in to that little rise position in between. That's optional, you don't have to do that, you just take it back to flat feet if you wanted to. So, stepping up again to your bum, ready to extend away through the leg through the foot. Opening through the tops of the legs, maintaining that turnout right from the top of the joint, lifting through the spine. Here we go on five and six and stretch the leg goes forward. Rotate and back, return. Side, rotate in, out, return to the back. Try not to tilt the pelvis too much. When the leg is at the back, other leg to the front. It's in, it's out. To the side, it's in, it's out. To the back, try not to sway. And away. We're going to take the same thing just off the floor. Rotate. Feeling those muscles around the hip. Working 
you to turn that leg without anything being lost on the other side. So the supporting leg staying the same. Other way, rotate to the back, reach away. Try not to drop the hip as the leg rotates inwards. Take a second just to see it. We're going to be coming up onto a rise. Close the feet closer together so you get a little bit of support there from the inside thighs from the heels. We're going to take it just off the floor again. Here we go. Forward, in, out, to close, to the side. In, out, to close. We have a little wobble there. In, out, to close. One more. And the other side to the front. Lengthen. Really lifted through the spine. Last one to the back. Woo! Last one to the side. Come back. See if we place the two feet back in underneath. Think drawing up through the thighs, drawing up the kneecaps. Floating one hand away. If it's okay, float the other one away. Woo! There we go. Opening up through the arms. We're going to bring the arms down. Come back onto the bar. We're going to step down into our first position. There's the bar somewhere. <laughs> step yourself back into a parallel position. Take the hands forwards. Take a little cat stretch, so lifting through the chest, dropping down, rounding the spine, curving back up and over. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Long scoop back. Long scoop back. Raising from that middle back, trying to get to those sticky points. One more time, breathing in. Parallel through the arms, just try and press downwards on the bar, try not to grip, so it open through the neck and the shoulders. Curve it back. Step the feet back in, just going rolling through the spine. And then taking a little bit of movement again for the body, a little bit for the legs as well, a little bit more movement through the body now, working up towards picking up our weight. So we're going to come into a first position once again. I'm going to be taking a little plie action and then a rotation, opening one arm out to the side, bringing it back, placing it down, and stretching. So that rotation is coming from the torso, the chest. The sternum trying to move without the pelvis swinging around with it. So let's give that a little bit. We'll do that on both sides a few times. Things will be added as we go. Hands onto the bar, lifting tall, breathing in. We're going to exhale to drop. Breathe in as we open around. Exhale, bring it back. Return. Drop it down. Open the arm. Return. So the legs just stay in that sustained plie. A little bit of opening through the chest. It doesn't have to be rigid. There can be a bit of a sway through the upper body as long as the lower body is supported. One more to either side. Open around, close it back. Return one more time. Open away. Return. We're going to change it up. We're going to open. We're going to close. We're going to open. We're going to close. So we're going to rotate the body. We're going to take a curve of the spine on that plie. Return back. So rotate, flex, unflex, unrotate. Again, the other side, the flex. So the flexion happening in time with that plie. If that's not the one, you can always maintain straight legs, if you prefer, as long as the pelvis is not swinging anywhere, just lifting up and over. We're gonna take one more to either side, open, and flex over, reach away, come back, final side. Bring it back. We're just going to take a reach up and over. Over into a side bend. Come back again. Maintaining two lengthened legs if you can. If it needs a plie, that's fine. But if you've got that length, it just helps to find that up and over sensation. Once more, either way. Let's take this one forwards and round. So lifting up in the belly to find that curve up and over. Keep lifting into that side bend. Reaching up and away. Take a little bend, a little wiggle through the hips. We're going to be coming into the centre. We're going to be picking up one hand weight. So moving yourself away from your bar for a little bit of space. We're going to take an exercise. Uh, we call it a mermaid. Lots of different things called a mermaid in Pilates. Um, but for this one, we're going to be taking a nice wide lunge position to one side. So starting from a wide based second position, finding a parallel line, dropping into one side. Make sure you've not left your hip behind. Take two hip bones with you, so it's nice and parallel over here. Uh, the action without the weight, 
please take the arm to the side. This hand will be onto the leg. We'll be taking a side bend and we'll be taking that away again. So it's going to go arm, side bend, arm and away. But we're going to be doing it with the hand weight. So pop that weight into the working hand, lunging into the other leg. We're going to reach the arm to the ceiling. We're going to curve it over and over. We're going to come back nice and tall. We're going to open away. We're going to do three more on the side. So we've got breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, lift that arm and exhale. In. Two to go. Staying strong through the core, staying strong through the legs. Try not to float upwards in that supporting leg. Really stay down. Last one. Looking through the tops of the ears into that bend. Reaching up, level shoulders. Open the way. Come through the middle. Pass the weight over to the other hand. And just lunge into the other leg. Hands onto the leg. Keeping parallel on both sides. It's going to raise up to the sky. It's going to come over to the side. It's going to come up to the sky. It's going to open the way. And yes, it's slow. You've got three more. Nice and smooth into that side bend. Nice and smooth out again. Level shoulders nice and broad. Two more. See if you can drop a little lower. Really think about the chest maintaining the same facing to the front. So try not to turn as you go. Really think forwards. Take it over, still forwards. Take it over, still forwards. And open away. Coming back to straight legs for a second. Release your weight down and grab your little band. I'm going to pop that around. It's going to come around the legs. We're going to be doing some work with some squats. Normally we alternate this with some body. We've done enough body movements. We're going on with for now. So just the legs on their own. Uh, well, the rest of the body is going to come with it, of course. Um, I'm just going to be taking a little held hand position uh, to get my arms out of the way. And we're going to be thinking about our squat alignment. So lengthening up through the body. Diagonal shins, diagonal torso, diagonal legs. You look a little bit like a bed shape. And that's going to be our place from which we move. So we'll just start with some squats up and down on their own. Placing the feet in line with the outside of the hip. Hands as is comfortable, wherever you like them. Here we go. We're going to drop it down. We're going to go down and up. And remember the gaze will drop slightly as you go. You don't want to leave the chin behind. So I think lengthen the back with it. Just drop the gaze as you go. Somewhere fairly far away, but low to the floor. Keep pressing out into that band. I didn't really talk through the band, I've just tied it into a knot at the side of the leg, just above the knee. So it's going to stay in place because the tension outwards into my leg is just holding that knot at the side. And it's just there to add some resistance. We're going to add some even more resistance now. We're going to go for two steps to the side and two steps back again. Two steps. We're just going to keep that going for a moment. So thinking about shifting across in space, trying to come up in between, just across. Trying to keep parallel legs, try not to let it rotate inwards or outwards and excessively. We're just thinking straight forwards with the knees. Think of that gentle lift between the sit bones, pelvic floor. If it starts to feel tense in the back, you might need a second to release. Just let the glutes reaffirm themselves, come back down. We're going to add two walks two taps so two walks and tap away tap away so a little balance on one leg tap and two and back you go we're going to do two more to either side Ooh, back we go don't worry i'm feeling that burn too try not to hoik up through the hip try and think level hips away and away if it helps to have the hands here go for it reach Gaze okay, still looking away. Breathing deep into the backs of the lungs. Tap and tap. Replace. Lengthen up for a moment. Reaching up. Open the arms away. Have a little wiggle. Move back into the centre of the face. A little wiggle. We're going to be coming down. We're going to be, oh, I was going to say we're going to be holding a squat to the end of the music. That's a little bit cheating. Let's do some squat pulses instead. So we're going to come down. Two. Lengthen up. We're going to do that five times to finish up. Here we go. 
So hands together, wide through the shoulders, lifting through the head, dropping down through the sit bones. Here we go. On five and six and seven, drop it down. And two and three and lengthen up. Four to go. Try and get a little lower. And away. A little lower again. As long as you're maintaining that length in the body. Think about this one. Bring it's coming into our last one. Long spine, parallel legs, reaching up, reaching the arms up. See if you can take a little balance onto the two feet here. So just to rise through the heels. Still thinking, balance between the inside and outside thigh, maintaining that parallel, find something on the wall to look at. And press the air away. Slow, or slow the knee, but slowly down through the heels there. If you can, leave this band configuration. Bring yourself to your bar, or bring your bar to you. We're going to be taking some work through the hamstrings and the glutes now. Maybe the glutes, we're really thinking about the glutes wrapping in towards the midline of the body. We're going to be coming into a position a little something like this. We're going to be placing my elbows onto my bar because it's the height of the bar. You might be alright with your hands. Uh, and we're going to be coming up into an arabesque. Ooh, there's a wall there. Coming up into an arabesque shaped line. Now I've bent the legs in more of an attitude, but it's that lengthening away. I can only really bend as far as the band is going to allow me. And so I'm going to be testing that band, testing the resistance, and using my glutes to do it. I'm going to be bending through the foot and flexing through the heel. And we're going to pulse that leg towards the sky eight times. Here we go. We've got eight, seven, and six. Trying to stay parallel on the other leg. I've tied a really bad knot. And so it's come undone. Let's do eight more. And then we're going to switch over to the other leg. Think glutes working. Wrapping around waist, TDA, length and the turn. If like me, you've done a bit of a lazy knot, retie that. We're coming into our second side. Coming back onto our elbows. Lengthen the spine. Take the other leg away. Bend the knee and lift and flex. We've got 16 pulses here. Think heel reaching to the ceiling. Parallel leg. Eight more to go. Long through the body. Lift it through the underneath abdominals. Lengthen, return, bend the knees. You can do one more set on the inside. Really think about that knee reaching away from you and the spine reaching forward. So length in both directions. Coming back again. Long spine, lengthen away, and here. And two. 16 of these. Are you still reaching forward through the top of the head? Gaze again, slightly drop down. Is it the glutes that are really pressing? We think wrapping glutes on both sides. Last one, lengthen, return. Switching to the other side. Just 16 pulses to go. Reach away. Flexing through the heel. Here we go. We've got a one, a two, parallel on both legs. Try not to lock back into that supporting knee. Just think lifting up through the kneecap. Last four. It's four. It's three. Last two. It's one. Point and release. Take a bend. Take a little wiggle around again. We're going to be unrolling. We're going to be releasing that bend. We're going to be taking an exercise for our arms, for our push-ups. I'm going to walk you through this push-up exercise as we go. You do not have to do the push-ups full onto a plank position. You can do them on your knees. So whatever is best for you. We're going to be starting. You've got a mat. You want to lay out your mat. Go for it. We'll be starting at one end of the mat. So finding that parallel alignment through the legs, lifting through the top of the head. We're going to be dropping down. We're going to drop the gaze. Roll down through the spine. Breathing into the backs of the lungs. Until we can reach the floor. If that means we need to bend your knees, absolutely fine. We're going to walk the hands forward into a plank position. We might just be moving through it, trying to stay lengthened on both sides of the body. You might be placing your knees down here and untucking your toes. For three push-ups, down you go. Down for two. Press away for two. Two more to go. Glutes wrapping behind you. Inside thighs balancing out those outside thigh work you did. By squeezing together. Tuck the toes. Come back through your plank. We're going to walk back towards the feet. Again, if you need to bend the knees as you go. Absolutely fine. Allow the head to drop before you unroll through the spine. We'll do that one more time. Here we go. We've got breathing in. Roll it down. Bend the knees as and when you need to. If you don't need to, just make sure the body is forward and not pitching back through the pelvis. 
walking the hands away into your plank position. Here we go. Down to two. Down. Turn to two. Press away. Two to go. Knees can be down on the floor. It's not how low, it's how strong. Breathe as you go. And either bending the knees or straight legs. Walking the hands back towards the feet. Either bent legs or straight. I'm rolling through the spine. Press those heels down into the floor. Lengthen like both sides of the body. We're going to go down one more time. We're going to take the just slightly back. We're going to come down once more. Rolling down. This one's going to stay into the floor. So we're just going to bend the knees, walk ourselves down into the floor. Into a side line position. So carving down onto one side. I'm going to shift this up a little bit to around here. No, I'm going to do it on this side because I think my feet will be visible. Where it needs so much of my face. That's fine. Sorry if my face is behind a chair now. But what you want is those two legs reaching long away from you. So finding that side line position. We're going to start with the top hand. This hand down on the floor. We're going to take some side leg lift with two legs moving together. So we're long on both sides of the body. Maybe the mass holds a bit here under the waist. We're going to breathe in. We're going to exhale and float the legs. Inhale, bring them down. Yes. We're going to exhale, float them to a little hover. It's not how high, it's how long. How long can you be through the spine? Exhale. Inhale. Four to go. Reaching away. Inside by squeezing. Sliding between the legs. Big toes reaching away from you. Two more. Are you still long through the body? Is that top shoulder wide and proud? We're going to release it down. We're going to take the top arm away. We're going to give this a go here as well. So find something to focus on if it helps you with your balance. I really think wrapping around the waist. A little float away. Woohoo! And come back. It's tricky. And reaching away from you. Now I've handily done my bad side first. I'm hoping the next side is going to be better. I've got three more to go. So of you perhaps reaching away. Think long spine. Think of that connection between inside thighs. Think of that connection ribs to hips. Last one. Keep reaching that side arm up towards the sky. Release it down. There we go. Hopefully yours improved as they went on as well. Don't worry if they didn't. It's a tricky one. We're going to come around to the other side now. Do you know what's going on through the legs? I apologise if you can't see my feet very well. Uh, but we're going to be coming into that same start position. Hand pressing down. I've got two length of legs, two pointed feet on the end. And we're going to be coming just into that initial lift. Raise. 30. Slide it down. 30. Exhale your way up. Inhale your way down. Nice and long through the spine. Staying on both sides of the body. So as the legs come up, try not to let the waistline dip down into the floor. Three more. It's three. Smoothly down. Two to go. Wide through the shoulders. Long through the back. Last one. Reaching through the big toes. And down. And we are going to carry on. Even though the music is stopping, we're going to reach that one up. And we've got five to do on the other side as well. I'll take my glasses off momentarily because it's easier to lay down without them. Reaching that hand away. Five of these. We've got lengthening into the hover and smoothly down. I'll do this with my better side. And reaching away. And you might find that you also have one lesser, lesser favourite side. Uh, lesser strong side. And that's completely normal. As long as we're working evenly as possible on both sides, we are all good. Last one. Exhale away. Inhaling to return. Return the arm. Then release. Bring yourself up into a seated position. Bring the legs around in front of you. Slide the hands down the shins. Breathing out. Curving through them. Inhale into the sides and back of the ribs. Exhale away. One more time, breathing in. We're going to unroll. We're going to come around to, if it's comfortable, a cross legged position. If it's not, you could take this with the knees to the sky again. You could always do this sitting onto a chair. So from a comfortable seated position, we're in power and space. We're going to take a side bend up and over, and we're going to reach away. Nice and smooth, nice and calm. Just calming the body down again from the workout. Up and away. One more time, the other way. 
before we add on a little circling around of the body. So up and over, similar to how we did at the bar. Curve it around, allow the hands to swipe across the floor. Round to the side, up and away. One more time, back the other way. Just allow the hands to swipe. Think of that lift underneath, curving up and over, reaching up and away. We're going to come around into a quadruped. We're going to retrieve our glasses. Oh, there it is. And we're going to press ourselves back to a downward dog ish shape. We're going to bend the knees, walk the hands back towards the feet. There it is. The pumping song ready for the next one. Lengthening up through the spine. Take a deep breath in. Round yourself in the floor. And well done, everyone, today. Thank you very much.